Hey, g'day, Hiko Simon here. Uh, final vid, uh, which I'm going to do on the Faking Good Japanese series. Uh, two things today. One, I'm going to talk about accents, uh, how to produce a good Japanese sound. Uh, second point that I'm going to talk about is where you can find uh, Japanese to listen to uh, and observe, because I, I think it's really important. You should treat it like acting, and, the, and, and these things are kind of linked together. Um, first of all, one problem I think a lot of people, and, and, and not just English speakers, I mean human beings have, is that we spend our whole lives being brought up, uh, hanging out with people and learning how, uh, how we should sound when we speak. Uh, and, and this is, for example, uh, I'll, I'll take an example that's pro probably easy for people to relate to, is when you have new immigrants come into your country who are not native English speakers. Uh, think of an Indian or a Chinese person with a really strong accent when they speak in English. Um, the reason for that accent is is that when they're speaking their own language, uh, that accent which you're listening to is the natural pronunciation of how they feel natural and comfortable and how they've grown up speaking, making the sounds in their own language. Uh, and every language has its own characteristics about how you make these sounds. And the problem is, is that especially when you become an adult, it's very hard to unlearn uh, the concept of what sounds normal and what sounds good when you're speaking uh, and just instinctively our brain tells us when we're learning new words even if it's outside of that language we need to pronounce them in this way uh, and so your brain is making you feel most comfortable when you're talking with this accent but what you don't realize people who, who well people who speak with these strong accents often uh, there is certainly a factor of not being able to reproduce the sounds, but with Japanese this shouldn't be a factor because Japanese doesn't have many sounds. So the, the, the bigger issue is, is that uh, our, our brain doesn't want us to sound like a foreigner. <laughs> our brain doesn't want us to sound like some cartoon character that's not them. You want to sound how you think you sound, which is this uh, sound which you grew up speaking and what you think sounds cool and, and, and not wanting to sound like you speak with a foreign accent. The problem is, is that it's the same, it's this precise instinct that doesn't want you to sound like a foreigner with a funny accent that makes you sound like a foreigner with a funny accent. <laughs> and so this is the thing, you have to be able to step out of yourself and realize, and the best way to do this is to see other, ja other foreigners uh, speaking Japanese with their strong uh, American accents or Australian accents or English accents and listening to the typical things that uh, English speakers will the mistakes that we make when we pronounce Japanese. Biggest mistake is the letter R. Uh, we make fun, or a lot of a lot of English speakers make fun of Japanese for not being able to pronounce R. Um, they can't. Japanese doesn't have this sound for rolling, you know, the the the, the hard well, R without touching the side of your mouth. But Japanese don't have this sound, and often we'll say when we see R in Japanese, you know, we'll, we'll say ra ri ru re ro, but it's not. It's da di do de do. You actually physically touch the side of your mouth, uh, and, and we're not often we're often not comfortable because the best way to do it, I think, is to think of a, a Scottish cartoon character <laughs> or a Scottish person. Saying, hey, you know, I'm the ro I'm the Rolling Rover. If you can say that, it's kind of uh, it's the same thing. When you when you're rolling your eyes just a little bit, it, and your tongue's touching your mouth, uh, you kind of have to. Key point is is that you have to kind of step out of yourself and realize that by sounding the way that makes you feel comfortable is making you sound like an idiot <laughs> in this other language Even, uh, and it kind of it defeats the point and no matter how much you might think that the way that you s sound sounds cool um, there are comedians in Japan which make their whole living off impersonating gaijin accents or specific, particularly English speakers accents speaking Japanese they're actually very funny you know they actually uh, do these dramatic uh, vowels where these vowels don't exist like we do uh, and they don't pronounce the R's properly in Japanese. They do exactly the reverse. And you know, you can make yourself a cartoon caricature, that's fine, but uh, I, I think you sound a lot cooler if you just say it right. <laughs> um, so I think a key point is really just being uh, self aware uh, of how of the sounds that you're making. And it's the same as like singing, you know, good singers can, can hear themselves and tell when they're out of tune. I think when you're listening, when you're speaking Japanese or another language as well, you really have to listen to yourself all the time. And you have to try to analyze yourself and pick out what doesn't sound, what's the difference between how I sound and a Japanese person sounds. Because when it sounds, it's not knowledge or anything like that that you're missing. It's pure physical training. <laughs> uh, 
uh, just like singing basically it's like you can sit there and scream out of tune or you can sit there and, and, and fine tune yourself and figure oh that was off I've got to fix that and, and one way of doing that for example sometimes it can be hard to visualize yourself as a Japanese person if you don't look Japanese and you have trouble putting yourself in that position but there are there are guys like Eleven Colors um, Emily speaks very good uh, Apple Milk 1988 speaks very good Japanese and I speak Japanese on my channel sometimes it's easier to visualize yourself doing it if you're watching uh, another foreigner perhaps who seems a bit more familiar speaking Japanese although that said if you can get over any complex that you might have over pretending that you're Japanese it's better to watch Japanese people